Welcome back to Learn Hub Channel. In this exciting episode, we're embarking on a journey through the wondrous world of the unusual and intriguing. It's a quest to uncover facts that will not only amaze you, but also leave you with a deeper understanding of the remarkable diversity of life on our planet. You know, sometimes the most incredible stories are hidden in the simplest details. From creatures that defy conventional wisdom, like starfish without brains, to oysters that can change their gender, the world of science and nature never ceases to astonish us. Our aim is to inspire a sense of wonder and curiosity, because we believe that knowledge is an endless adventure. So, let's embark on this intellectual exploration together. Whether you're watching with your family, friends, or all on your own, we promise to bring you fun facts that will spark your imagination and enrich your understanding of the world. Are you ready to be captivated and enlightened? Buckle up as we unveil these fantastic fun facts. Without further ado, let's dive into the first incredible fact. The original name for the search engine Google was Backrub. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus due to its slow rotation. Let's delve into the details. Venus has a fascinating quirk. A day on Venus is longer than its year, all due to its remarkably slow rotation. While an Earth day lasts 24 hours, a day on Venus, defined as one complete rotation on its axis, takes around 243 Earth days. In contrast, Venus's year, or the time it takes to orbit the Sun, is shorter, at approximately 225 Earth days. This occurs because Venus rotates very slowly, with its dense atmosphere and mysterious geological history contributing to this phenomenon. This unusual feature of Venus highlights the intriguing diversity within our solar system. The oldest known sample of the smallpox virus was found in the teeth of a 17th century child buried in Lithuania. Smallpox, characterized by its distinctive pustular skin rash, was responsible for countless deaths and suffering until it was officially declared eradicated in 1980, thanks to a global vaccination campaign. In covering a well-preserved sample from the 17th century provides scientists with a unique opportunity to examine the genetic makeup of the smallpox virus from that era. This, in turn, can help researchers understand its genetic evolution and gain insights into the history of smallpox outbreaks and its impact on past societies. The Philippines consists of 7,641 islands. The Philippines is an archipelago consisting of 7,641 islands. This large number of islands offers a diverse range of landscapes, cultures, and ecosystems, making the Philippines a country of great natural beauty and cultural richness. Please note that the exact count of islands may vary slightly over time due to natural processes and reevaluations, but this number serves as a good general estimate of the nation's island count. The longest word in the English language, without a vowel, is rhythms. The word rhythms is indeed one of the longest words in the English language without any vowels, depending on how you define vowels. In English, the traditional five vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. If you consider Y as a consonant in this context, then rhythms is a great example of a long, vowel-less word. It has a unique and intricate pattern of consonants, which is why it is often used to illustrate this linguistic phenomenon. Starfish don't have a brain. Starfish, or sea stars, do not have a traditional centralized brain like many other animals. Instead, they have a decentralized nervous system. While they lack a centralized brain, they have a complex network of nerves and ganglia, clusters of nerve cells, that extend throughout their bodies. This decentralized nervous system allows them to coordinate their various functions, respond to their environment, and exhibit behaviors such as moving, feeding, and responding to stimuli. Despite their lack of a brain, 
starfish are capable of some remarkable behaviors and adaptations. They can regenerate lost body parts, respond to environmental cues, and exhibit a surprising degree of coordination in their movements, all thanks to their decentralized nervous system. Oysters can change their gender. All oysters start life as male, but most will change permanently to female after about a year. Their reproductive organs produce both sperm and eggs, giving them the capability to change gender. It is, therefore, possible for an oyster to fertilize its own eggs. The electric chair was invented by a dentist. The electric chair was invented by a dentist named Dr. Alfred P. Southwick. He came up with the idea of using electricity for executions after witnessing an accidental death caused by an electrical shock. Dr. Southwick believed that electricity could provide a more humane and efficient method of execution compared to other methods in use at the time, such as hanging or the firing squad. His efforts led to the development and use of the electric chair as a method of execution, with the first recorded use taking place in 1890 in New York's Auburn prison. The electric chair was subsequently used for executions in several U.S. states and other places. The first recorded game of baseball was played in 1846 in Hoboken, New Jersey. The first recorded game of baseball played under formal rules similar to the modern game took place in Hoboken, New Jersey, in 1846. The game was organized by Alexander Cartwright, who is often credited with formalizing the rules of baseball and establishing the bases, the diamond shaped in field, and the three-strike rule, among other elements that are still part of the game today. This game, often referred to as the Knickerbocker Baseball Club, marked a significant step in the development of baseball as a structured and organized sport. While baseball-like games had been played in various forms for many years before this, the 1846 game in Hoboken is a crucial milestone in the history of modern baseball. New York City's Central Park is larger than the Principality of Monaco. Central Park in New York City is larger in terms of land area than the Principality of Monaco. Central Park covers approximately 843 acres, about 1.3 square miles, making it one of the most iconic urban parks in the world. In contrast, Monaco is a small sovereign city-state located on the French Riviera, and it covers an area of just under 500 acres, about 0.78 square miles, Central Park's size is indeed more extensive than Monaco's entire territory, highlighting the contrast between a vast urban park and a small independent country. In Switzerland, to own just one guinea pig, is it illegal? While it's not necessarily illegal to own just one guinea pig in Switzerland, there is a law that promotes the welfare of these animals. The Swiss Federal Act on the Protection of Animals, Tierschutzgesetz, outlines certain guidelines for the care of pets, including guinea pigs. This law emphasizes the social nature of guinea pigs and suggests that it is in their best interest to be kept with at least one companion of their own kind to prevent loneliness and social isolation. Switzerland, like many other countries, has animal welfare regulations in place to ensure that pets are treated well and their needs are met. Guinea pigs are known for their social behavior, and they tend to thrive when they have a companion. While it may not be explicitly illegal to have only one guinea pig, it is encouraged and recommended to keep them in pairs or small groups to ensure their well-being and prevent loneliness and stress. The smallest bone in the human body is the stapes bone in the ear. The stapes bone, which is part of the human ear's ossicles, they are the smallest bone in the human body. These three tiny bones, known as the ossicles, are found in the middle ear and play a crucial role in transmitting sound vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. The stapes bone is the smallest of the three and resembles a stirrup, giving it its name. 
Its small size allows it to efficiently transmit and amplify sound vibrations, making it an essential component of the hearing process.